and others. Huang Yiqing uses stone slaves to make artworks. The Lugai man from Kaohsiung's Bunongo community also has his works displayed at the exhibition. Huang injects Chinese landscape elements into his lab creations. Special story on Lugai artist Huang Yiqing. This art piece looks like a miniature slave house, but in fact, it is part of an aquarium with landscape scenes. Huang Yiqing is the only one who used slabs as median for creations at this year's Contemporary Indigenous Artists Exhibition. From an artist's perspective, we have to explore new concepts, this originality. But at the same time, we cannot detach ourselves from our cultural background when pursuing originality. But this is hard to do it. Huang seeks innovation on the basis of indigenous culture. He calls himself the son of Wan Dolong community. From the slab house concepts, Huang has created aquariums and other artworks related to community culture. His studio is filled with works such as three-dimensional mountains with marks of community locations and miniature slab houses. This replica of an ancient community can be used for cultural purposes, and it will help visitors understand the community culture. We are too far behind in the time from our ancestors. It's impossible to rebuild settlements, also impossible to show visitors how our ancestors had lived. And the circumstance, I can only build community in a new environment. When Huang first started his career, he had faced many obstacles, such as how to cut the slabs into right sizes for the miniature replicas. It was also during this process that Huang had developed many techniques. I extensively learning from visitors. Some tourists picked up small pieces of slabs and bagged them. And I saw the stone slab was divided into pieces. Then I did my own experiment. And I found out that thin slices could really be made. Apart from developing new techniques, Huang says it is also important to learn and preserve the traditional skills in staking the slabs. He sought knowledge from elders, conducted his own research and even built and realized slab houses. Huang also researched on the lifestyle of the community ancestors based on the evolution of the slab houses. The learning process in the community has enriched his creations. I talked to community elders and learned from them. They said there used to be structures like this. Then based on the slab house they told me about, I designed and built a real one. Huang had worked outside the community when he was younger. He admits that he has been influenced by values of mainstream society. An indigenous project brought him back to the community life. Huang hopes to further improve slab building techniques and to create commercial opportunities for the community. DITV Weekly.